Hello and welcome to the Blackboard Grade Center tutorial. This tutorial will guide you step by step in getting your grade book set up. All ESL faculty are required to post grades on Blackboard throughout the semester so students are fully aware of how they are progressing in the course. It is our responsibility as instructors to provide up-to-date information to students about course grades. Start with a Let's start with the basics. You will want to set the weighted total as the external grade, delete unnecessary columns such as the total column, and view all of your students in the gradebook. So you want to make the weighted total the external grade. You go to the right arrow, and go down to set as external grade. You can see that the green check is now at weighted total. You want to go to the total column and delete this column because we are not using the point system. Delete column. You want to be able to view all of your students in the gradebook. The default view is 10 students. You want to go to Edit Rows Displayed and change this to 25 and this will allow you to view all of your students on one page. In step to setting up our gradebook is to create categories. In this case the categories we have are tests, quizzes, classwork, homework, and lab, and the final exam. Since the final exam has two parts I will need to create two categories for it. To create categories, we need to go to Manage and go down to Categories. There are a few categories already set up. We can see that the test category is already there. We need to create a quiz category, a classwork, homework, and lab category, and our final exam categories. We'll go to Create Category. Quizzes, submit, create categories, classwork, homework, lab, and then we have the final exam. The two part final exam. So now you can see my categories. We have the test category, quiz category, homework, qu classwork, homework, lab category, and we have our final exam, final editing, and the final essay. And I'll go down here and click on OK. The next step is to assign a weight to each category. All academic ESL courses at PGCC use the weighted grading system to calculate final grades. We need to go to weighted total, click on the arrow, and we can edit column information. Column name is weighted total. Go down and primary display is percentage. Secondary display, you can, you can have a letter grade as the secondary display, or you don't have to, we'll say. And then as you scroll down, select a column. So we said quizzes. So quizzes are 10% of the grade. If I want to drop the lowest quiz grade, this is where I would enter it. Drop grades, lowest quiz grade, drop the lowest quiz grade here. The next category is classwork, homework, lab. Click on it, go to this arrow, and classwork, homework, lab was 5%. And then we have the test category. Click it over. Here's the test category. Tests were worth 
and then we had the final editing exam. You'd have to find it, just scroll down. Final editing was 5%. And so you can see the total weight is adding up. We're at 80%. And now I need to add the final essay. And so the final essay is worth 20%. And so you want to make sure that your total weight is equal to 100%. So we can go back and check. Classwork, homework, 5%. Okay, we're not dropping any homework grades. Tests, all tests are worth 60%. The final editing exam is worth 5%. Final editing, final essay is 20%. Quizzes are 10% and I'm dropping the lowest quiz grade. And you want to scroll down and you want to make sure it says include the column in Grade Center Calculations, yes. Show the column to students, yes. We do want our students to see the weighted grade. Show statistics. This is the default. I usually leave it as no. And then I go down and I make sure I hit submit. And you can't see it, but it's down here in the bottom corner. Submit. Creating category average columns can be helpful for students as well as teachers. Students can view their average score for each category and better understand how their grade has been calculated. Category averages can be useful when discussing grades with students. Set up calculated columns. You want to go up here, create calculated columns, click on the arrow, and go to average column. average column so I can say I want to have a an average of all the tests so tests average primary display percentage secondary display you can say letter selected columns and categories scroll down and this is for tests and we want to click on submit. Okay, here's the test average column. And we can do that for each of the categories. Average column, quizzes, percentage, letter, selected column, and we want to click on quizzes, and click on submit. So you have a submit button on the top and the bottom. So test average, quizzes average, and we've got homework average. Percentage, letter, selected columns, so everything with this particular category will be averaged in this column. So here are average columns, test average, quiz average, homework, lab average. We can now begin to create assignments. This can be done even before the semester begins. If you create all assignments at the beginning of the semester, students can see what assignments, quizzes, or tests are coming up. Your gradebook can be ready for you to plug in grades for, as each assignment is completed. You will need to decide on the type of grade the assignment will be given and label each assignment with the appropriate category. So when I'm creating assignments, I typically use my syllabus and look at the grades that I have coming up. Go to Create Column. And a couple of things that I have coming up are quizzes. Quiz 1. Uh, primary display, score. You can, uh, you can say secondary display, letter. Category. Now this is where you want to make sure this is a quiz. I need to make sure I click on the quiz category. Total possible points, 10. And the due date. The first quiz is February 5th. Include the grade 
include this column in grade center calculations? Yes. Show this column to students? Yes. Show statistics? We can leave that at no. And submit. And you can see every time you create something, it says success created column quiz one. So you can always verify that it, you did create it. Here it is, quiz one. So I can go ahead and set up my quiz, all of my quizzes. Quiz two, score, category, quizzes, points 10. My second quiz is February 26th. If you think it looks good, I'm going to click on submit. category quizzes and I can always go back and change the points but for now I'm just making all my quizzes 10 points and I'm putting in my dates the third quiz is March 18 okay everything else looks good I'm going to go down to submit and I do have a fourth quiz score category quizzes Ahead and set up all my um, items in my gradebook. So you can see um, I've got quizzes, four quizzes. I scroll over, I have three tests. Here are my final editing, final essay. Here are homework assignments essay one, essay two, essay three, essay four. Some more homework assignments. Okay, so here's my grade up grade book all set up just for me, ready for me to enter grades. Another thing you can do is color code your grade entries. Color coding can allow instructors to highlight missing assignments, grades entered that are too high or too low. It is also easier to see students who are not passing. If you want to color code your grades, you can go to manage grading color codes, enable grading color codes, and grade ranges we go to add criteria. Um, you can say between 1% and 69%. I want to highlight students who are not passing. So background color we can leave uh, white, make it blue, students who are not passing, or make it red. So it's going to look like this, add criteria. Uh, more than or equal to 101. Okay, if it's equal to 101, that means maybe I gave, you know, maybe it was uh, 10 point, it was a 10 point quiz and I gave that student a hundred points. So I want that highlighted. So I can say highlight. Okay, highlight. Um, I can add, you know, if something is less than 1%. So that means if they got a zero on something, maybe I want that highlighted as well. And there we go. Okay. So here's my criteria. I'm going to click Submit. So if you go to my gradebook, if I said a, a quiz is 10 points and I entered 11, so you can see that you know 11 is highlighted, that maybe I didn't need to make it at 11, I can make it 10. Okay, maybe someone got a zero, and you can see that they got the, it's blue. If they got um, a five, so they didn't pass, it's red. Organizing the columns in your gradebook can make it easier to view common assignments. When you go to organize columns, you can also verify that the appropriate category is given to each assignment. You want to make sure that you don't assign a quiz to the test category or you may have forgotten to assign a category to an assignment.
if you forget to assign a category to an assignment, that assignment will not be included in the final grade calculation. To organize columns, you want to go to Manage and go down to Column Organization. This is where you can um, show or hide selected columns. Um, and you can go down and take a look and you can see some of the calculated grades, test average column, quizzes average, classwork, homework, lab average. So these are calculated grades. Now here I want to make sure that each assignment has a category. So here we can see that everything is assigned a category. And I can just double check quizzes, tests, final editing, and these are all homework assignments. Um, and if you want to reorder um, the assignments, you can just drag them up and down. So maybe you want the final editing at the top, or actually the final final exam is probably not here. You know, it's not till the end of the semester. I might want to put that at the end. The final editing I can put at the end. Um, quizzes are already grouped, so you can just move things around if you like. Okay, I like to have the weighted total right at the front, all my averages right at the front, and then um, you can uh, organize it the way you like. If you want to hide a column, like availability, maybe that's not a column that we really want, we really need. So we can click here, click the column, and we can go to show hide and hide the selected column. Okay. Entering grades is fairly simple. You saw me do it a couple of minutes ago. You will look, uh, we will look at exempting students from an assignment and providing feedback to students on assignments. So if you want to exempt a student from an assignment, you can click on the side arrow and you can say exempt grade and you'll get this circle. If you want to uh, give a comment to a student, Maybe, maybe that student got a zero for a quiz. And if you, after you enter the grade, you can, when you click on the arrow, quick comment, um, you can just say, absent missed quiz. Okay. And so that way the student can see why they got a zero. End of the semester, final Grade profile sheets need to be submitted to the Language Studies Department, along with the course syllabus, graded final exams, and attendance records. The Blackboard Gradebook makes the printing of profile sheets simple. To print profile sheets, you just need to go to Reports, Create Report. You can say Report Name, Final, final Grades. You can have the date printed, institution, course information, okay, and users, you can say all users, I hope this tutorial has made setting up your gradebook an easier task. Please feel free to reach out to your course coordinator or the ESL coordinator with any questions you may have about the Blackboard gradebook.